As controversies continue to thrill the organizational processes as well as outcomes of elections in Nigeria, stakeholders in the sector have come together to present priority areas of reform and also make recommendations for improved elections. Such reforms, they argue, will serve as a roadmap to guide lawmakers and all election stakeholders through areas that need immediate attention. Neil Samson has this report. According to these stakeholders, the reforms and recommendations were mostly reflections drawn from the experiences during the 2023 general elections. They include the unbonding of INEC, electoral offenses, and electoral adjudication, among others. What you find in most elections is that for officials on the field, um, non-formal officials like observers, journalists, they get disenfranchised from the process by not voting early or by not having access to voting at all, which means that you know they can't fulfill their fundamental civic right. So in a, in a system of process where early voting is introduced, then you clearly have this demographic of people also participating um, in the process as well, which is further strengthening you know, the electoral process. Diaspora voting is quite critical. Um, you will see that you know, um, in some elections across the world, um, wherever you live, so long you're a citizen, you can essentially, through, through the use of technology, participate in the elections. And that, you know, that definitely you know, um, strengthens the electoral system as well. We want inclusivity deepened in the electoral process. We said um, we want the media you know, to uh, provide more access or quality access uh, during uh, the electoral process. We said we do not want uh, media professionals to be uh, criminalized uh, for certain uh, offenses uh, that media organizations may have been perceived you know, to co commit uh, during the electoral process. They also justify calls for the adoption of these reforms and recommendations, saying they will go a long way rebuilding public trust in Nigeria's electoral process, enhance the efficiency of elections, and ensure that the outcomes of elections reflect the will of the people. Reforms are meant to strengthen institutions and different stakeholders to also, you know, um, introduce accountability in the system as well. And so it is, um, it is our hope that um, different stakeholders will um, take those reforms, will reflect greatly on the gaps that we have at the moment and understand that these reforms are meant to strengthen us as a, as, as a country and essentially improve, um, you know, our democratic environment. If we have an electoral offenses commission in place, it means that all these cases of uh, misconduct on the election field will be dealt with uh, after elections. I mean, people, you know, will be arrested, those who commit uh, those, those, those infractions or breaches on the field, and then they will be dealt with, they will face the full route of the law. Electoral reform is a broad theme that covers, among other things, improving the responsiveness of electoral processes to public desires and expectations, hence its importance. No, Samson, Trust TV News, Abuja.